and uh, I'm gonna go see what's happening. Yeah. Everyone's qualified for the 75 lap 50,000 wins speed showcase here at Port Royal. Just conquer in the world. Yeah, this this is gonna be dangerous. Guys, this place is very very dangerous for my pocket. You guys got room back there? Yep. <laughs> Party's here. Where are we at? What are we doing? Are we monkeying around? A little. Yeah. yeah. Uncle Mike, can you fill us in on what's what's been going on? What you're up to? The window. Nice. Oh wait, look at look at Deo doing a little walk through over here. So professional. Should we go like moon him? Should we go moon him? You can, you can have uh, With a Avery. Avery. Avery, you. <laughs> this is very difficult holding. Oh my uh, God. I got this. You coming in? Hey, Billy, can you hold the camera? Billy, can you Why? hold the camera and interview Uncle Mike? Why? Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, you're not helping. Okay, what are you up to? Uh, we fixed, uh, let's see, left front spindle is a little loose, so we tighten that up. and. Uh, the drive shaft, moved up the rod in, grind side tires, what else? Um, added, adding weight uh, in case we're, you know, if we had bald tires at the end or, or low fuel, we are pretty much planning on burning the entire tank of fuel okay. uh, with Good 75 dip. green flag laps. Probably, probably about 80 green flag laps would burn all our fuel. So. Um, Get me close. Based on yesterday's mileage, of course, it could be slicker today. Um, clean the air filter. Check nuts and bolts. All the regular maintenance. Thanks. Meanwhile, what you doing? What you've been doing here? So what have we been doing here today? We've been getting the car ready. We went out, uh, we ran the motor, we just the valves. So we've made a few small changes. Um, the good thing about weekends away is you see a lot of people that you don't see. You try to pick up the little bits of knowledge that you talk to them. Not that you're gonna play it into the day, but you're gonna play it into your year. So it was good to see everyone and good to see if we grasped a lot of things today. So uh, it's going to be about time to get ready for driver's speed. So hopefully it goes well. Okay, good. Meanwhile, we got this going on, and these guys over there are just chilling. Always something. What you doing, Tommy? Finding bolts for weights. Okay. All right, we're checking on the track. Nice and wet this morning. Well, actually, sorry, this afternoon. What do you think, dude? I don't know. Think it looks pretty good? Yeah. Think it's going to be racy? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, we got today's schedule. Driver's meeting in a few. We got hot laps and then ear or nothing until then. I think my t-shirt cart got a little heavier. Yeah. <laughs> you selling t-shirts, dude? Behind him, the friendly four, number 14J on the middle section, New York, AJ Slideway. <laughs> because they probably all went out on softs in practice making sure that they uh, are good for that. Meanwhile, all these feature cars, I would think that you'd want to prepare for the feature because yeah. you don't you know have anything else to worry about. Um, however, if you want to play head games, you can just go out there and lay down really fast lap and make everybody look silly. 
So, I don't know. That's all I'm thinking about, I guess. And, uh, okay. yeah. Car's okay balance-wise. Yeah, it's just a little free and probably would come in in a few laps if I got a few laps, but you get a lap and a half. So, uh, excited to be starting second, but we got to be faster than that to stay there. How's that sound? Neutral feeling? Uh, you always think you're going to win, so you go with positive attitude. Um, it's pretty black slick, so uh, we'll see what we got, see if we did the right thing. So hopefully we go forward and uh, I think we got the team. We just got to see if we got the drive and the car in it and see what happens. Are you going to be out there giving daddy signals? Mm -hmm. Are you going to the infield with him, Andy? Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Hopefully Shane and Pop pop dice are making us go fast over here. Billy, does Pop Up know how to tie shoes? I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, I don't think you've untied yours and tied yours in the last like 40 years, Dad. Okay, he's got an inch to grow in there. <laughs> he's got an inch of toe room. They're new Dad. shoes. So all pit carts are going to be pitting in the infield, so gotta lug it all. Well, huge uh, wreck in the sportsman as we wait for future. is over. Oh, now we load everybody in. What a process. Okay, we got 75 laps. Oh, only 50 grand to win. No big deal. I just try to keep telling myself it's just another race. Just another race, guys. Well, one start in second, one start in tenth. Pops and I field over here. Not sure how this is going to play out, but hopefully it just plays out in our favor. That's all i got to say about that. As a man.
also talked to Connor Marvin. He is the tire guy for Keith Flack. And I said to Connor, what guy, you know, what are guys on? Is anybody harder than 53? He said that a couple of guys were on the 50 compound, which is harder than the 53, but most guys had gone with that 53. McLaughlin's definitely was worn, but it was worn evenly and it was not chunked anywhere. McLaughlin had a 40. We will see how things play out. I know Marty just mentioned it. One of the guys I talked to earlier, Demetrius Drellos, said he was putting one of those 50 hard compound tires on. As Marty mentioned, harder than a 53 compound. Uh, Drellos was one of the guys that went with those 50s. We've got a couple more cars on pit road. We have Mike Guler in the 2A, Mike Mahaney the 35, and the 32 Brandon Grasso, guys. Oh, I know. 21 to go. Besides, not going anywhere. Let's just change both beers. And uh, see if it works. How deep are we? I don't know. Someone didn't make it, Michelle, did she? No. I mean, it's about lap 15. Lap 15? <laughs> oh. I saw her in. Got these guys going in. Are we going? All right. Hey, we're finally going up here. Got Travis? <laughs> oh, it's a cluster. Got a little girl passed out. We're all rotating. Arms get heavy. <laughs> oh, what do I got? Started 10th, was running fifth, and was under Prego for fourth with 22 to go. And unfortunately, whatever happened, the oil light came on and the motor just kind of changed tune and it kind of just shut it off. It's part of racing, you know. Uh, never had any motor issues, so we, we got to figure out what's going on. But uh, it's all right, Mike. We got a great group of guys behind me with new build the motors and stuff. Uh, We'll figure it out and we'll come on to the next one. It's a shame because I feel like I got in a good rhythm. I could move around. I was, you know, under Perego. I thought Larry was a little bit better. I don't think I would have won, but I thought it was the third, fourth, fifth place car. Um, I love this track. It's amazing. I hope, uh, hope everyone that follows their track I'm told can make this weekend uh, next year. One year we'll get out of here with a good finish. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't so. knock the wall down this year. Um, Our cousin tried. Yeah, Mike tried. Uh, yeah. I like my dirt track on cold suit and my Lebanon bologna thanks to uh, Barry White and his wife. So uh, you all have a great night and uh, here's to better days. Yeah. Amen. So today we uh, got a great draw, started second. Um, track was nothing like it was yesterday. It was really dry slick and uh, I was really loose. Right from the drop of the green, not a lot of grip. and. I'm not really sure uh, what I need needed to change, but uh, needed something. So um, I guess if I knew, I would have done it and been better. But uh, went backwards after a while and then 
uh, pit, put some tires on, but the stagger grew to like over nine inches. So that didn't work very good. And uh, then the steering, the power steering quit with like two to go. And I got into the fence in one and two and flattened the right rear tire. So we didn't finish with two laps to go. That's, yep. uh, I don't know. It could have been worse. Could have been a lot better. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board. We did, we did pretty good qualifying and then I don't know what went wrong. Well, I don't know about you guys, but my fun bucket is full. It's like, I lo we love, love this place. And I really, really hope we come back next year. Like, this race should be so much bigger. So much bigger. The race is good. And, I don't know. Our results suck. Really suck. It just, it just sucked. So, feel for the guys, but I don't know, what are you gonna do? Only a few more weeks to go. Don't mind me. Hey. <laughs> he totally just scared the crap out of me. I was like, someone's behind me. Um, yeah, I'm totally counting down. It's fine, I'm, I'm ready for a, a break. Ready for a break. But, a few more weeks to go. Till then, we are going to go enjoy I, I, it's me, myself, and I right now because the, the golf cart was loaded. But uh, we're going to go enjoy some food in the campground and some beverages. Call it a weekend and make a long trek back to New York. So, without further ado, thank you guys always for the support. You guys are freaking amazing and awesome. And I love every single one of you. It was so awesome seeing everyone this weekend. <sighs> One of these days, guys, one of these days, we both are there. We are there. We are there. So, what you gonna do? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, that's what you're gonna do. Head over to patreon.com slash dirt track untold. Become part of our uh, private club over there. Share this video. Comment. Did I? I already said. I'm, I'm just, now I'm just rambling. I'm just really hoping someone's gonna pick me up over here so thanks guys unfortunately is what it is and uh yeah he lost me now so ta-ta until next weekend